Right, question two, part A. So when we ask to integrate this here, um, before we integrate, we need to take the power on the bottom up to the top. Okay, so this becomes 5x to the power minus 3 quarters. Okay, um, take away 7 then, and again, root x, we write that as a x to the power half. That's what root x is, x to the power half with respect to x, dx then. And when we integrate then, um, Five. Now we're going to add one to minus three quarters. So again, you could use a calculator. Minus three quarters. Add one. What well, comes up is a quarter. Divide by that new power. Quarter. Take away then seven and x. Then well, add one to a half. You get three over two. Divide by that new power. Three over two. And don't forget then the constant. And just to finish off then, fraction on the bottom. So the number on the bottom flips up. So four then times five is twenty. X to the power quarter. 2 goes up then and times you get 14 14 x power 3 over 2 over then the 3 plus constant so you've answered part a so part b then if we look at this here it says the diagram shows the sketch of the curve y equals 16 minus x squared and the line y equals x plus 10 the line and the curve intersect at the points a and b find the coordinates of a and b so we've got ourselves um here now a um simultaneous equation situation okay where we're interested in where these points here a and b where the curve intersects the line so in that case you've got your curve 16 minus x squared you've got your line y equals x plus 10 so we're going to solve them now simultaneously so y equals um, 16 minus x squared y equals x plus 10 so where they intersect here, the y values will be equal, won't they? Okay, for the curve and the line, the y values will be the same at B, and then at A, the y value will be the same for the line and the curve. So if they're the same, then we can put match these together. So we'll have x plus 10 equals to 16 minus x squared, okay, because the y values are the same, so we can put them equal to each other. Get everything onto one side, so we have x squared bring that over plus x plus 10 minus 16 equals 0 this simplifies to be x squared plus x minus 6 equals 0 okay so then we've got ourselves then a quadratic equation which we can solve so we're going to plus 3 here minus 2 there and we're going to work out then what our x values are okay so we've got x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0 so that means then x will equal minus 3 or x will equal 2 okay those are our values there now it is important when it comes to working out a and b if you notice here they say for the coordinates of a and b coordinates so it's no good just having the x values you also need the y values and we need to present it as a coordinate and what's ideal here is you've got the, the line and the curve i would obviously use this here okay the, the line because that's much easier if you know x you can easily work out y so we can say like sub in star okay so we say then y will equal when x is minus 3 you'll have minus 3 plus 10 which equals to 7 so you've got your one coordinate here which is minus 3 for x 7 for y or y will equal put 2 in 2 plus 10 which equals 12 so you have 2 um, and then 12 okay if you look closely here I think it's clear that a it's got it's going to have a negative x value okay so that corresponds to a and then b has got a positive x value so that corresponds to b okay so you've got minus 3 here 2 here okay the x values are obviously more important when it comes to the integration it says then find the area of the shaded region so we need to find the area and the curve and the area and the line okay so be and between minus 3 minus and, and 2 so let's do the area into the curve that would be the integral between okay it's minus 3 and 2 and the curve was 16 minus x squared so when we integrate that we get 16x minus x cubed upon 3 and that's between 2 and minus 3. 
So we need to check that those values in. So 16 times 2 minus 2 cubed upon 3. Take away then 16 times minus 3. Take away minus 3 all cubed all over 3. So get my calculator. So 16 times 2, well, 32, I know that. Take away 2 cubed upon 8. Close bracket, upon 3, sorry. Close bracket, and then take away, open bracket, 16 uh, minus 3 in here. Take away minus 3 cubed fraction all over 3. Okay, so that looks, that looks right to me there close bracket and you get your answer then as 205 upon 3 okay so we can leave that as it is and that's the area under the curve and if we go back to our question we need to realize now we've actually worked out all of this area under the curve between minus 3 and 2 all of that area there now what I need now is the area under the line once I've got the area under the line I can then subtract that from the area under the curve to give me what I want. So the area under the line will equal the integral of x plus 10 between minus 3 and 2. So that will become x squared upon 2 plus 10x between 2 and minus 3. So we check that in. So 2 squared over 2 plus 10 times 2, take away uh, minus 3 all squared upon 2, plus 10 times minus 3. So I'll get my calculator. That's 20, isn't it? 10 times 2 is 20. Take away then um, minus 3 all squared upon 2. Plus now that will be minus 30, one day 10 times minus 3 is minus 30, close bracket. And I get my answer up as 95 upon 2. I'm running out of room here. Okay, so once I've got that then, um, of course, if we go back to this, okay. remember then to get this shaded area, we can say, look, shaded area, shaded area will equal the area under the curve take away area under line under the line so the area under the curve was 205 over 3 take away then the area under the line which is 95 over 3 okay 95 over 2 sorry so 205 over 3 take away 95 over 2 so I get my answer then which is 125 upon 6